Hey, Magnus here. Today, we are going to talk about the 5D Mark IV versus the BMPCC 4K Black Magic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, if you want to know what that means, and which one is more efficient when it comes to 4K recording. Now, we all know that the Black Magic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, or BMPCC 4K for short, can record at extremely high bit rates. We're talking upwards of 500 megabytes per second. When you compare that to the 400 megabits per second of the 5D Mark IV, then that's a huge difference. And you wonder, why would you ever want to record that much anyway, right? Well, we'll see as we take a look at which one is more efficient. And what I mean by efficient is, if you've got an all day shoot coming up and you just want to record 4K recording, which one works best for you? Check it out. Behind you with like the clouds, the sky and everything can still be able to see. And we've got the Rode video mic. Here we go. M50. What do you guys think? All right, so talking about those shots that I did in the intro, what I did was I filmed it with both the 5D Mark IV and the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. It's hard enough to say that name and I know I keep on doing it, but it is what it is. So I, when I took it back into looking at all the footage that I recorded, first of all, I was a bit out of focus with the BMPCC 4K, which is unfortunate because no autofocus, I can't use it with Metabones Speed Booster. It's just no update has come out for it that I know of to make the autofocus work. No, I had to deal with slightly out of focus footage. But when I was looking at the footage, both the 5D Mark IV and the BMPCC 4K are 422 color. What I did was, first of all, the settings on the 5D Mark IV, I recorded 4K in 8-bit 422. The BMPCC 4K is known to have large files. I mean, when you're recording RAW, it's going to be very large files. Even the ProRes footage, you've got very high bit rates. But a lot of questions that comes up with many people who are looking to buy this camera is, do I have to buy an attachment for an SSD? Or do I have to get a faster CFast card that's very expensive just to record a couple of minutes of footage before it just runs out and dies on me? Well, the answer is no. You could actually buy a reasonably sized card that doesn't have to be too fast to record plenty of footage on it and get 422 color out of it. In a setting on the camera, you can record ProRes Proxy. Now ProRes Proxy, from what I could see from what I recorded, it's slightly over 150 megabits per second for uh, Cinema 4K at 24 frames per second, which is still a very high bit rate. You get a lot of color information and it's a reasonable speed. When you look at the 5D Mark IV, which is what I recorded most of the 4K footage on it and I was comparing it, you get 8-bit 422, but it's 500 megabits per second. And do you really get that much more quality off of the 5D Mark IV? And what I can honestly say is, I don't think so. I mean, the 5D Mark IV does a great job with autofocus. It does a great job with its color science. But when it comes to actual information that you're getting in your frames per second, I, I can't see a benefit in the 5D Mark IV versus the BMPCC 4K at its very lowest bit rate. So if you're concerned about getting all those attachments or a very fast card or getting an SSD just to record any type of high-end footage, you don't have to. But on the flip side, you wanna think about it. If you bought this camera, you do eventually wanna upgrade when you can afford it. You wanna upgrade to faster bitrate media or an SSD such as the Samsung T5 to be able to take advantage of what the BMPCC 4K can offer you, such as raw recording. Now, once you start going raw recording, it's hard to go back because of that quality that you can retain and the information that you can retain when you record at those bit rates. But that doesn't mean you have to. And that's what I wanna tell you guys. It may seem 
like you can't but you most certainly can film for long periods of time with smaller media on the BMPCC 4K. But the batteries, you gotta find a solution for that. So get plenty of batteries. If you, if you want to, get the inexpensive batteries. I've got like three different brands. I've got an actual Canon, I've got a K-Star, and I've got Elvid battery. And Basically, I've saved money with getting these batteries that are a lot cheaper than the Canon batteries, which are much more expensive, but they still last me a pretty good long time, and I get good results. As much as you're going to get with the BMPCC 4K, which is like half hour, 40 minutes. With all of them in my pocket, I could, I could tell you I've been out with several shoots, and I haven't worried about the battery too much. But you still worry, which is kind of crazy. But when you're looking to save money, and get as high quality as you possibly can. To me, it's hard to find something better than the PMPCC 4K. So let me know what you guys think, especially when it comes to the fact that you don't need such large media to be able to store your files. And thank you, thank you, thank you for being a part of this channel and helping us grow this community. And as always, like, share, and you can make my day if you subscribe today. This is Magnus. And I'm out. See you guys next time.